Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm joined by my good friend Chris. Hey, how you guys doing? And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a 2020 release. This one is by Giorgio Armani and it's called Stronger With You Freeze. So make sure to stay tuned. So before we get into the video and we review Stronger With You Freeze by Giorgio Armani, brand new fragrance for 2020 and a flanker, of course, of Stronger With You, and that was one that was released a couple years prior, please do make sure to support this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever we do upload these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of our future uploads. And of course, Chris also has a channel called casual fragrances i'm gonna leave a link to it down below so definitely make sure to go over to his channel and subscribe to his channel support what he does as well and this is actually chris's bottle that we are reviewing today so full disclosure this is more of a first impression on my end more of a review on chris's end because you have had this one in your possession now for oh, some man. time yeah, a couple weeks yeah yep yeah. and this one i actually just smelled for the first time today so it's more of a first impression for me but i'm hoping to have the opportunity to spend a little bit more time with it and then perhaps I will revisit it in the future. So being as though this is your bottle, I would like for you to start. Do you think we should go over the notes yeah, sure. first? Or? So I'm gonna okay. pull the notes off of perfumenet.com. Mm -hmm. um, so this is uh, the top notes are lime, ginger, we have mandarin, apple, and the heart notes we have lavender, sage, bourbon, geranium, car uh, cardamom, and the base notes to top it off we have amber, glacier, glacier wood, I apologize, and we have bourbon, vanilla, so when I spray this fragrance, and I spray here real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I do like the bottle presentation. It's kind of freezy, kind of like that tends the name of the fragrance. And if you smell some of the other fragrances from the lineup, um, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to get a familiarity to the other two fragrances, but the opening yep. is very nice and fresh. You're definitely going to pick up that freshness with the lime and some of the ginger. So it gives it a fresh niceness in it and a little bit of a cold uh, fizziness kind of freeziness mm -hmm. but later in the fragrance it does come compared to like the original and the intense one but it is a very nice opening the opening kind of sold me in when i bought it off of fragrancex.com i see what you mean it actually does have a lot of that lime because whenever you think of citrus obviously there's like lemon and 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 bergamot and grapefruit and um lime has a very distinct smell and i'm actually picking up on it uh you know with this fragrance so i actually do enjoy that citrus appeal that it has and you mentioned ginger as well right yes yeah there's kind of like that snappiness of ginger and as i'm smelling it like Chris said, I'm also reminded of the original Stronger With You. So Stronger With You is in many ways a clubbing scent. You know, it has that sweetness in there that I think people are gonna be inclined to wear when they're in a clubbing environment, when you're around a lot of other people, just because I feel like it's the type of fragrance that is going to lure people in, they're gonna be drawn to it. And with the original, I think they went a step up in the sweetness after releasing the flanker. And so it's stronger with you, stronger with you intensely. And now we have the third iteration, which is in the frosted glass bottle, stronger with you freeze. So how do you think this one kind of compares to the other ones that were released prior? I think the original one, it was my favorite. I sold it yeah. when I was in my early days of reviewing fragrances. Now I kind of regret it. I told Steven this off camera. I wish I had the original because my girlfriend really liked it, that which I was very shocked. It was very nice, very posing very um it's one of those fragrances that you will go on a comments where people would want to sit down and talk to you and interact the the second one that came out the flanker intense i like that one but it was very heavy i was very kind of afraid to wear that out because i felt yeah. like it was just too powerful not in a bad way but just like people might get offended because it's too bold too strong and then this one here the third flanker ladies and gentlemen it's nice it's more smooth well balanced and I feel like this one's more of a cloud pleaser. It's not maybe as heavy as the other two, but people will walk by, you're gonna catch whiffs of it kind of thing. I think that's perfectly said. If the original is the guy who is at the club and occasionally dancing to a few songs here and there, maybe with his significant other, Stronger With You Intensely is a person at the bar 
dancing in the middle of the uh, dance floor, spotlight on him. And then this one is a guy also at the club, but maybe he's sitting off to the bar, right? So he's kind of doing his own thing, having a few drinks, minding his own business. So that's kind of like the analogy that I would like in this one too. But um, I kind of like this one. I think this one is much more easygoing. I can see this one almost being like what Invictus Aqua is to Invictus, right? So this to the original is what Invictus Aqua is to Invictus, where it kind of has like this fresh quality to sort of counteract that sweetness. Okay, I think this is a great fragrance. If you have the other two, I'm not sure if you would need this because I know the right. other two are very powerful. If you want one that you can maybe wear a little bit more, I would say maybe in the spring, uh, fall and winter, this is good. I wouldn't wear this in the, maybe if summer might be too much because summer's kind of hot. Yeah, You do definitely. have some sweet notes in this, but yeah, I feel like you can wear it um, spring, fall and winter i think it's nice but if you have the other two it might be redundant to buy this one because the other two are already powerful yeah i can know. i can definitely see how maybe in the middle of the summer the sweetness might be a little bit too cloying for this one um and i think as long as it's a decent performing fragrance it could also double as a really good office fragrance you know office fragrances are very bright and fresh and smooth and citrusy sometimes aquatic but i don't see the harm in having a little bit of sweetness in there as well and i know some people online have also compared it to le Molo fresh by jean paul gautier one person even compared it to ultra mall i think that's a little bit too well, much I, of a yeah, comparison about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not that strong not as strong as ultra mall but i can definitely see how somebody might compare this one to like some of the freshers variety within the le Mall collection but uh i actually do enjoy this one i don't think it's that different from the first two iterations and so like you said if you have the original i don't think you necessarily need this one i would probably just wait until i run out of my bottle of the original and then sort of transition over to this one if you if you're looking for something a little bit more fresh with the lime and the ginger and some of these, um, yeah, brighter and fresher aspects that you get in the opening. The opening is very gorgeous. Let me, let me rephrase that. When you spray this, the opening is like very catching. Like you're gonna enjoy yeah. the opening, but it's not gonna last for a long time, but a good bit of time. I know performance on me, I'm getting about a good, um, about an hour and a half of projection. Mm -hmm. And then longevity, I'm getting about a good, I say seven to eight hours, which is not wow. bad. So it does get you through the work day. It's a fragrance that it is lighter. It's not as heavy as the other two. So if you want a more of a heavier fragrance, I feel like projection wise, you might pick the other two over this one. It's That's not awesome. a projection beast, but it's nice. And I've worn it to work and people like it. It's not, it didn't, and nobody was offended by it. So that's pretty nice, but it wasn't very strong where I got coin of wearing it at work neither. So. I think that's great. Seven to eight hours is really good. So uh, that's kind of more than a lot of us have come to expect nowadays, especially with how like some of the more recent releases in the designer side have been performing. But uh, thank you so much for being on my channel, Chris. I really wow. appreciate that. I think thank you, you for making the visit. No, no yeah, thank you. So once again, Chris's information is going to be down below. He also has a channel called Casual Fragrances. That was our review of Stronger With You Freeze by Giorgio Armani. Again, more of a first impression on my end. Today's the first time that I'm actually smelling this, but I do hope to spend a little bit more time with it so that I can get to know it a little bit better and maybe revisit it down the line in the future. So thanks again so much for tuning in. Once again, if you did take something of value from this channel and you're not subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it if you could support what I do by clicking on that red button in the corner and of course while you're at it please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon this way whenever we do upload these videos they will get delivered straight to your feed you never need to worry about missing any of our future uploads thanks again for watching i love you guys and we'll see you in the next episode Bye.